Okay, hello. So this video is going to be a response to this question on the Kibi subreddit. I want to create an LCARS GUI for my project, but have a question on how to build the elements. So question in the comments, right? And then I saw this and I was just thinking, man, this looks kind of hard, right? But last night I was playing around with stencil instructions and the canvas. And I realized it's not that hard. It's kind of easy if you're willing to do some manual work, which is just manually placing these buttons around. And um, yeah, I'll quickly show you. I have all these notes, so uh, let's go. The thing is, it's stupid's guide to a cool GUI. Now, I'll tell you why it's stupid, because number one, you're going to draw this image. So we're going to fill the image with clickable buttons. Now, why is that a problem? Actually, this should not be an image. It should be drawn with canvas instructions. This is because PNGs are not the best when being rescaled. But after that, it would be a good prototype for if you really want to make this, you know, crisp and clean, drawn with vertex instructions with OpenGL, you should use Canvas instructions. So I'm just letting you know, this is just going to be a GUI, something that will work uh, right. Now let me uh, turn it on. So, oh, not this. Um, where are you? So there's this, and then there's this prototype. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have them side by side. And then you tell me it's getting kind of close. I got most of the work done. Um, there's still some formatting to do, but uh, what do you think? With a little bit more work, uh, you can get very close to the left side, right? So let's uh, go like this. Let's keep going. Now, uh, I already talked about the problems. Uh, what, am, what is my suggestion? You're going to use a relative layout because it moves the children correctly when the window is resized. So if I resize like this, the objects are going to be resized correctly. But as you can see here, maybe you need to handle the text um, resizing, right? As you can see like this, the this is resizing, the echo C is resizing. And then I'll tell you why there's um, these red boxes in a little bit, okay? And then for something as specific as this, you need to do things manually, in my opinion. And then here's why you need the red buttons. To see the button, you need to draw an X and start manually moving. And then here's um, what I mean by that. You need to actually not draw an X, but draw a like a uh, canvas rectangle. So as you can see right here, um, in the KV, there's going to be these canvas after RGBAs. So we can just go like this and then open. And as you can see, um, this is for accuracy. You will see I'm using these red boxes to see where the widgets are because the rectangle is the same size as the widget and the same pause. So I'm going to turn this off and actually we'll, I'm going to show for the timer. i just find it. Let's go like this, the timer and close and then reset. And as you can see, this red box is exactly where the widget is. So what I did with manually resizing this and manually placing the button was I was just going, um, okay, let's go here. I'm going to, uh, not size. I'm going to pause and I'm doing root because the, my root is this relative layout. Root size and then I'm just multiplying by the correct number in order to get the correct x axis and the correct y axis. And as you can see, because it's scaled to the root, it's going to um, adjust to the root as long as the root is adjusted. Now I'll show you if it's not and it's just like, um, I don't know, let's go like uh, 500. 400 save and then you you run it's right here right it's not going to adjust it's going to keep that um, x y position because it's not bound to the relative layouts um, position right so you see it's maintaining the coordinate structure from the zero zero of the bottom left of kivi so that's the reason why i did it uh there might be smarter ways to do it I'm not sure i just i got it done quickly and easily okay another trick use dp it's Kiwi's density independent pixels. That way it looks the same on any device. Now, the reason why you should use DP is for the font sizes. So you, you see font size is root size times some, you know, correct uh, coefficient. Uh, that's it because if you use pixels, it's going to look the same on every device pixel wise, but you don't want it to look like if the, if the, your device is like this, right? You want it to scale correctly to the device, but if it's 100 pixels, It'll be 100 pixels here, and then on another device that's very big, 100 pixels look small. So something to, keep in, something to keep in mind. And then I will admit, the struggle is manually sizing the buttons in the layout based on the layout size, which is root.size in this case. Not possible, just tedious. 
and then I left the red backgrounds and some of the buttons just because that's how I see the buttons when manually moving. And then I'm going to come here. I'm going to write another one. Uh, I cheated and used Kibi Reloader. So actually, I didn't loader. Actually, I didn't do this. Control S, Control um, Control C, Control S. Actually, in I have another VS Code right here, right? And then what I'm doing is okay because I'm using Kibi Reloader. If I press Control S to save, it automatically reloads my screen. So the thing is with Kibi Reloader, uh, it's still a work in progress. It opens the window in the like window zero. So I actually have to move my um, my VS Code to like my other monitor. Then when I Control S and then open load, it's going to start. Um, you know, I can start moving things. And then when I whenever I save, I'm going to see the GUI right here. So for example, I'm going to move um, where. Let me find the start date again, so it's obvious. Or not the start date, the current time, right? I'm going to move the current time, and then let's see if it'll run. It will. If it'll cooperate. Um, 7. So control S and then it just reloaded and it's right here now, right? And then this is the tool that I use to like manually size the widget and I I'll just move it back, right? And as you can see, it's very convenient. Like if you just press control S, it'll automatically reload your, um, your TV code. And then it's very easy, you know, you just uh, move it, just control S and then you can see it instead of control C to kill the Python interpreter, then press up. If your uh, terminal has history, you can press up and then press enter. That just hurts. At some point, I spent 10 minutes. And I'm like, man, I have Kibria loader. Uh, I'm just going to use it. So I'm going to show you again like this, like this. And I'm just going to move it. And as you can see, it got moved here, right? So that's something to, to think about. Actually, also, I noticed a delay in one second. Um, I'm going to explain that. That's because um, when you do the custom time button, there I do a schedule interval. I do a schedule interval of get time here. Actually, I need to do one, which is just um, schedule like this, like this. So it immediately the time is set. That's why, and then you get no um, delay. And actually, this is kind of bad because my two uh, L cars versions are drifting because I'm fixing the one on the left, but the one on the right is the one I'm using to um, to create the GUI. Let me just. It's scheduled once. I'm dumb. Okay, once. Once like this. Save this and then you run it. Okay, now you can see there's no delay. Um, okay. Anyways, I fixed that. Next, um, I left the red backgrounds. I already explained why the red backgrounds are important. I'm going to go here back. As you can see, it's already different. I'm going to do the other one. Right. Um, yeah, this one's the Kibri Reloader. This one is not. I just, I'm going to give you the one that's not the Kibri Reloader because um, it's not guaranteed to work everywhere. And uh, I want something that will just run if you want to see it. Uh, what else? See this. Um, cheated and use Kibri Reloader. Modify the background X. Okay, so actually another one is um, right here. In order to get like to clear the button image, I had to do a couple of things. Number one, the image of the button itself. Uh, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn this off and keep reloader. I don't want to deal with this. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Where are you? Like this. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to give you the Kibri loader. Let me just. There's another one. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to turn off the. Um, where is it? Background color. So as you can see, now the Kibri button, the original button, you can see it exists, right? So in order to turn off the canvas drawing of the original button, I think you can just actually turn the background color like this. Not sure, but yeah, okay, never mind. So, in order to turn off the background color, where are you? Man, everything is getting changed. Okay, so this is incorrect. 
to remove the original um, button, just do like this. And then the good thing about this is that um, it maintains the functionality of the button and you don't have the ugly button image anymore. Um, let me put this back like this. Okay, so it's back. What's next? You modify. Okay, another thing is I use Microsoft Power Toys. There's a Start Shift C, and what this does for Power Toys, you get the correct color. So that's how I use. It's like a yeah, it's a Microsoft Power Toys color picker. That's what I use in order to get the correct color for this um, for this text. And there's one thing I'll tell you. There's a problem. Not really a problem, but um, the color scheme is reversed. So everybody else is RGB. But when you set the text color like here, that should be GR because I'll show you. It says 206103, right? Okay, if that's the case, let's just do 206103. Uh, what else? One. And because this is RGBA, this is like the alpha channel. So you just put it to one so it shows. Oh, okay, this is not the correct one. Let's. Okay, like this, like this, this. Where's the time button? Because that's the most visible one. Okay, as you can see, it's not orange, it's blue. And that's because it's not RGB, it's BGR. So if I reverse this, this is like a 1, 103, 206, and then I control S. Now it's the correct color, right? So. That's another thing to worry about is that the colors are gonna be reversed. And it's not obvious. You don't really think about, oh yeah, is my color scheme reversed? It's just, uh, I've, I've worked with um, OpenCV before and I, some, I, I, I get really used to understanding when BGR is not RGB. So that, that, that's just an experience thing. Now I'm warning you right now, that's gonna happen. Okay, um, so there's like this. But next, I just keep reloader, I, I showed you. Maybe sometimes reverse. So actually, this should be like this. And we're there together. You don't need this anymore, actually. The third backgrounds exceeded. Where's um? This is incorrect. To say not necessary. Okay. Okay, another thing, uh, I got the star date from this repo. Um, nothing too fancy. We just go here. It's like some somebody in um, Python, they just wrote something to get the, you know, Star Trek TNG date converter, right? Um, I tried another repo, but you know, I wasn't smart enough to figure it out. So this one worked. I stuck with this one. And then how I got the font. So the font, I just Googled um, what Elcars is using. And this is the website, a car's fonts. Okay, let's move this. And then they said, okay, it's like Antonio. And then I just went to Google fonts. I found Antonio. No guarantee if this is like, you know, you got to pay for it or something. But there it is. And then where's the download? I think this is the download button, but it now says remove so anyways yeah and that's it so that's the method i have it working somewhat um let me see let me just turn on this as as you can see the buns are here buns are here and if you press the button it even has functionality so right now if it's firefox it says mozilla firefox is pressed now i'll tell you why is it firefox because if you stretch it okay i'm gonna move it Go right here. So there's just another thing where like facing is strange, but if you stretch it, because you have Mozilla Firefox, but if it gets too small, it gets cut off and it's just Firefox, right? And if you press right here, Arco C is pressed, Mozilla Firefox, it like responds to your bun presses, right? So that's it. Um, yeah, good luck, but not impossible in Kivi. Uh, it took me like eight, and there now it's like 11. So it took me like three hours for like a prototype. Uh, not bad. And also like 
you stretch it out because it's a PNG, it'll look okay. It'll look nice. So yeah. Um maybe something hard. You can do this in map plot lib. There's a map plot lib widget, by the way. I don't know if you know that. Um you can do this in map plot lib. You can just plot the um the x axis is time, y axis is gonna be like your CPU temp. That's doable. This you can just have like open GL buttons and then you know it's like gray if it's like not filled and then purple if it's filled this is easy this is easy uh this is a text this is okay okay yeah and the rest is like info right and then the only problem is um you know just putting these text buttons and labels so yeah um this is mid kivi school good luck with your l cars goi project and I i'll give you the kivi reloader one i'm not gonna scam you um yeah thank you for watching